Hello everybody and welcome. It is Tuesday and welcome to Bird's Nest Designs. My name is Denise Cox and I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Trail, British Columbia, Canada. A little later tonight than normal. Um, normally I do tutorial Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Pacific time, but it is 8 o'clock and I am here. I was at um, a birthday party for my nephew who just turned 13 so we had some cake and I didn't get home in time to do a seven so here we are. So I don't have a card to share with you tonight really but I do want to talk to you about some really fun things that are happening, some great deals that are out there and my new very favorite kit from the kit collection the birthday card organizer. It is so fun and wait till you see how I altered mine. You may have already seen it in the post earlier today but I want to share it with you here live and show you how I exactly how I did that. So a um, couple things before we get started on this amazing kit and welcome to everybody who's here. Say hello, let me know where you're watching, um, where you're watching from and that you're here with me. So a couple things. Today clearance rack got restocked. So if you like a good deal, then head on over to Stampin' Up! online store and check that out. So some things have already sold out because that's how it goes. But um, there are still lots of good sales to have um, and lots of awesome products on there. So hello Robin and Tina, thank you for joining me tonight. Um, okay, so clearance check, that one's done. Then I wanted to talk to you guys about the offer they have currently to join Stamping Up. It is one of those offers where you just cannot pass up. It is so good. So you get to choose $206 worth of current Stamping Up product. And that can be anything. It can be from the clearance rack. It can be from either of the catalogs. It can be kits collections. Anything that you can normally order through Stamping Up, you get to choose $206 worth of product and you add it to your starter kit and you only are going to pay $135. So there's no shipping on that and there's no tax on that um, or no GST here in Canada in BC. You would still pay the PST, but anyway, it's a great deal. You're saving lots and lots of money and you're getting lots of value for that $135. And then once you get your kit, the choices are totally up to you guys. Like it's completely your choice. You can do absolutely nothing and be what we call a kitchenapper um, and just get that lovely kit, get a great deal, and then don't do anything else with it. But I do want to let you know that as a Stamping Up demonstrator, we get awesome perks such as a 20% product discount, which is awesome because we all know we have wish lists that are super long. Um, you also get access to um, brand new products ahead of everybody else which I'm going to share with you too when I flip the camera down because we have a great one right now and there was just so much going on um, and this this join kit the starter kit plus is awesome hello Alana and welcome and I would love to welcome you on to my bird's nest stampers community um, my little team we get together once a month on zoom we have lots of fun we have monthly challenges we have quarterly stamp camps and it's just a really fun, positive community. So I would love to welcome you in. And if you have any questions about this awesome offer that's good until the end of October, just message me. Um, even if you don't, you know, there's no commitment. You can just ask questions um, and I'm happy to answer. So I'm going to leave that at that. But I am going to flip my camera down now because I want to share with you some awesome stuff and I'll chit chat while we're doing that. So let me just flip the camera here. Okay, so this is our kit that I want to share with you. But before we do that, while we were just talking about the starter kit, I do want to share with you the brand new pre-release product. And this is the Fitting Florets. Hello, Bev and Alana, welcome. So. Fitting Florets is a collection that is absolutely stunningly gorgeous. I can't say enough about it. It's so pretty. And it is available to customers starting on November 1st through January 4th. Okay, so it's a great, I don't know if you guys can see that very closely. I've been posting it um, on my emails. I've been posting it on my blog. I've been posting it on Facebook. It is gorgeous, okay? So you can get this entire collection starting November 1st as a customer for $134.75 and I'm going to show you all of the products. But here's the catcher and here's the little um, 
perk that I was talking about earlier. If you sign up to be a demonstrator, you can add this gorgeous kit to your starter kit. So you can add the entire suite for $134 and still have $71 left to add to it. And you're only going to pay the $135. So let me show you what's in it. We're going to get the framed florets stamp set check out those gorgeous florals and i love look at those beautiful fonts okay so that's the stamp set it comes as a bundle with these gorgeous dies there's so many of them they didn't even fit all together but there's some beautiful frames um there's dies here that are going to cut out your florals there's little accent pieces such as this foliage here and these leaves it is absolutely gorgeous. So you can get this bundle, okay? Then there's an add-on, which is an exclusive um, stamp set during this promotion, so only available till January 4th or while supplies last. You can get the framed and festive stamp set as well. So check that one out. Isn't that pretty? I love it. I'm always looking for super fun fonts for Christmas cards and these ones are going to be perfect. I can't wait to start stamping with this one. So that's the second thing. Then there are these fun embellishments and these are the gold adhesive backed swirls. So they're going to retail for $11.75. Check those out. Super sparkly. Now this is the part I've been waiting to share with you. This is the Fitting Florets 12 by 12 paper. And I may be partial to it because there's a lot of pink, but aside from that, it's super stunning as well. So here, I'm just gonna show you each page and I'm gonna flip it, so I'll do this. Just so you can see how pretty, because a lot of times when you see it online, it just doesn't quite do it justice. So hopefully you can get a better view here on my camera. So you get two of each, remember, okay? So these flower florals, hello Sherry, with this beautiful blue foliage here. And then we've got some gorgeous, um, looks like mistletoe, which would be perfect for Christmas to go with that framed and festive stamp set. And then we have some pretty pink. And look at that one, you guys, seriously, like that is stunning. And I know a lot of you out there are have a favorite color blue so this one would really catch your eye and then we've got a pretty subtle soft succulent pattern here more gorgeous flowers um, a little bit smaller a really fun pattern that you could be used for the background um, at a quick glance it looks kind of like um, knit from a sweater which would be super fun and more blue with pink berries love it Oh, look, more pink. <laughs> okay, so you guys get how, can you see how beautiful this is? What do you guys think? It's not, nobody's making any comments or saying much over there, but I love, this is a nice evening evergreen and white gingham. More beautiful blue flowers. So you get all 12 of those sheets. It is stunning, you guys. I wish, I hope that you can see it. Um, and appreciate how beautiful it is. So remember, November 1st, this is available for customers. If you're interested in signing up to be part of my Bird's Nest Stampers team and joining the Stampin' Up! family, now is the perfect time. You can add these gorgeous items to your starter kit and still choose $71 of free product on top of that. No shipping, no tax, win-win. Any questions, please let me know. And here's the card I shared on my blog yesterday that I created with this gorgeous collection. So you can see that I have been, I've cut out the floral frame, which is one of those dies I shared with you in Evening Evergreen, layered it on that soft succulent designer series paper. These are cut from the designer series paper with one of the dies, so I didn't have to fussy cut them. That coordinated perfectly with the dies. And then on the cut out of the oval I cut it out twice once in green and once in white and I used the oval to stamp my salutation on and then some beautiful soft succulent ribbon a bow some simple little dots and voila and then for the inside I've got this cute so lucky to call you friend and again this is fussy or not fussy cut this is die cut from the designer series paper with another little strip across the bottom. So you can make really gorgeous, pretty cards using that suite and, 
I just, I love it. So I just really wanted to share it with you all. Okay, I hope you like that. I hope that it's caught your interest. Now I wanna share with you this brand new kit that is going crazy. So many people have ordered it already. Um, lots of talk online about it and I'll show you why. So I ordered two. I ordered one to keep track of birthdays and the other one I ordered to keep track of my team anniversaries and special dates within my Bird's Nest Stampers team. So when you order the kit, it's $32 here in Canada. It comes in this box so you can store it in there if you want to. For now, I'm just going to put that to the side. You get a roll of tear tape. Okay. Comes in cello, so I'm just going to open that up with my scissors. I don't really want to. So, like I mentioned, this is my second of these books. So, the other one is already opened and in use. So, in the kit, we get some beautiful sequins, like iridescent, with a package of Stampin' Dimensionals and some of the adhesive dots, <clears throat> okay? There's enough product in here to make 12 cards with envelopes. So not only are you gonna be organized for your birthday cards, you're also gonna have the supplies to make 12 of those birthday cards. So the envelopes, as usual, super cute, right? We've got gingham and stripes. Here's the card bases. So we've got, I believe it's six of this pattern here. So six of the green and six of the black and white po polka dots or white with black polka dots. And then we have these laser cuts. So when I say laser cut, that means they're already cut out for you. They're just going to pop right on out. Okay. So those aren't those gorgeous. I love them. I love that floral. So we've got a bunch of those, okay? Six sheets of those die cuts. And then we have stickers for the months and they come in a variety of languages. So it doesn't have to be English. We've got French here too. We've got multiple languages and I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly which ones they all are. I'm just gonna check on my kit here and let me tell you if it says. <clears throat> We have, no, it doesn't tell me here. Anyway, lots of languages, lots of stickers, lots of options. So, um, <clears throat> oh, Bev's already made her 12 cards. Whoop, that's awesome. I'm gonna make, we're gonna make one of each here tonight. Um, I haven't made any of them yet. So here's our stickers for the months. Then we have some more stickers. These are black with white writing, which is one of my favorite um, combinations. And these are, it's your day to go on the cards. Again, we've got four different languages. Some more laser cut strips. And then we've got some more stickers here that say happiest birthday again in the four different languages. And then we have this gorgeous notebook. So it's spiral bound as you can see. It measures, let me just double check. I believe it's eight by 10, but let me just double check that. So 10 inches by eight inches plus the spiral, okay? So the cover itself is eight by 10. And the color on the front, I would say this is petal pink with some soft succulent and some um, evening evergreen. Okay, gorgeous florals. When you open it up, there's pockets on the front cover as well as the back cover. So these pockets expand quite large, you can see in there, right? So you can pull all kinds of trinkets and stuff in there. And then we have pockets for each of the 12 months. So here you can see they open up, we've got the date. So every pocket has one to 31, even though not all the months have 31 days, you still got a pocket with those options. So basically what you would do is take your stickers here, and we'll find January right here. We're gonna peel that sticker off and we're gonna stick it right here above the dates so that we know these are our January. And then on each date, 
you would write whose birthday it is. Some of them are going to have multiples if your family and friends are like mine. Um, so you're going to have multiple names. And then what you can do is ahead of time, so maybe December, or November, however far ahead you plan, you could create your birthday cards and just tuck them right in here. So here's just a thank you card I have sitting on my desk. But see how easily they fit. And I mean, really, you can you could fit a lot in there, right? So you can be really well prepared for all of your birthday cards. You could also tuck in each month a little list of all of the addresses for those birthdays so that it makes it super simple when it comes time to send them. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, and again, you're going to go through and you would put a month on each of these pockets so you have all of them ready to go. And I did show you the back pocket as well. Okay, so that's how this book comes, right? Now, I think this is pretty. But you all know how much I love pink, right? And to me, when I looked at this, I thought, oh, I just wanted to be a little bit brighter, a little bit more happy. It is birthdays after all, right? So what I've done is I took my stamping blends and I used a combination of polished pink, which I have here, Melon Mambo and Flirty Flamingo. And then I used Granny Apple Green and Old Olive. And I turned this into this. So all I've done is colored directly on top with my stamping blends. Now I have finished the front cover, but I wanted to share with you and just show you how easy it was to color over by flipping it over. So this is the back and I really wanted to color them and I am going to color them both differently so that I can tell which one is my birthday book and which one is my team dates book. So let's just show you how quick it is. So I've just taken a dark, polished pink and I'm only going to color one and I've just kind of gone over really quickly there's no I'm not being precise at all but I'm just sort of coloring over where these highlights already are on each flower kind of outlining some of the petals you know just having fun I love to color so this was right up my alley so when I po I posted earlier today um, a picture side by side before and after and I ask what color would you color it or would you leave it all the same? So if you're watching, I'd love to hear your answers. Uh, from what I saw from most of the comments that got made, purple seemed to be the winning result. Or the, um, that the majority of people commented would color their flowers purple, which may be what color the next book gets. But for now, we're sticking with pink because that's my favorite. Team pink all the way. Okay. Although I will say, as I'm coloring these, that I can visualize them in some beautiful teals as well. Um, red would be stunning, like a bright red rose. So you can see I've just highlighted that kind of really quickly with the dark. And then I'm going to come in here with the light and I'm just really quickly, like really quickly, just gonna color over top. Okay, now it doesn't blend as well as it would on say our basic white cardstock, but it is sort of blending that color and it's also picking up the shading from the previously printed petal pink. Okay, so you're gonna get some really gorgeous flowers as I showed you on the front. But I just wanted to show you how easy it is. So if you've looked at this kit perhaps in some of my emails or on the online store, and you just, you know, it didn't really catch your fancy. Well, look at this. We can fancy it up till our heart's content um, and make it your own. Just like that, right? I love it. So simple and so easy. And then for the leaves, I did a similar thing. So I, for this one, I'm using granny apple green. And I'm just adding a bit of color along the veins here. Like you can see, I'm just kind of scribbling really. Um, we've also already got a lot of depth and shading with that, um, different greens that are printed on here. So by adding the green on top, we're just giving it some extra dimension, right? Some extra shades and some extra oomph because it's brightening it right up. So that's it. That's how I did it. I just continued flower. I did do it all at once. I took my time as I was just, you know, um, picked away and colored and I got all of the front done. 
Now I envision this to be decorated and altered a little bit more. I would like to put a label on the front that's going to say birthdays or team event or team dates. I can envision some ribbon tied down the side here and kind of like a craziness, you know, ribbons. I love the texture of ribbon and the, be able to play with it while I'm <laughs> searching through the book. So that's what I've done. And I really think that changes it and personalizes this beautiful organizer. So just an idea I wanted to share with you. But I also want to share with you how to create and what these cards are going to look like. Now, Bev did mention that she's already made all 12 of her cards and I have not made one. So I want to go ahead and make these cards with you, one of each. So in the kit also came, oh dear, they're all unfolded here. Also came with these gorgeous full color printed instructions. So you can see on the front what the cards are going to look like. And there's the album itself itself and then when you open it up it's picture instructions which is super helpful so let's go ahead and start it says to start with a green card base we're going to fold that card base in half now remember you need nothing else to make this kit you do not need your own adhesive you don't need scissors you don't need anything else you can make everything with what comes in the kit okay so now we're going to punch out one of these striped strips here and this is going to be a landscape card and that is going to go straight across the center just like that. So to do that we're going to use our tear tape that came in the kit and we're just going to stick that right across the center and then pull that off. Stick that down across the middle of the card, just like that. Now what we're gonna do is our, those beautiful laser cuts that I shared with you, the florals. We're gonna punch out the rose, the little rose bud and both of the leaves. Now y'all know, probably already know what I'm thinking that we could jazz these up too and color them. But for today, for this, um, video tonight we're going to leave it as is but stay tuned because i'm pretty sure you're going to see at least one of these cards done in pink <laughs> okay so we're going to take the back and when you see stamping up instructions when you see the black dots that's the little glue adhesive the little glue dots when you see like a open hexagon that's dimensionals so if we're following along with what they're telling us to do we're going to put dimensionals Here's our little adhesive kit here. So we'll put dimensionals on the back of the rows. And they're saying to use four. So the only reason I'm looking at the count only so that I don't use too many. Okay, so we've got dimensionals on those. And I'm just seeing Tina's comment now that she would color them in fresh freesia and rich razzleberry, which would be a beautiful combination of nice, pretty purples. I'm really debating. I'm thinking that maybe I should follow the lead here and do my next one in purple. But I'm also thinking about teal, so perhaps both colors will find their way onto the cover. <laughs> okay, so we're just peeling these off, sticking them down. Okay, now we'll go ahead and we're going to stick the rows down first. So I'm peeling the backs off of the dimensionals. We're just going to start to stick this in the sort of in the center here like so and then we're going to take the white leaf so this one is white which you could if you wanted to like i showed you earlier on the cover you could take some stamping blends to this and change it to whatever color you wanted um, we're just going to stick that in underneath here like that we'll take the green and white leaf die cut here Again, we're just going to peel those backings off. Okay. 
and that's going to come up here. And then we've got the rosebud left. And this one we're going to tuck up here, like so. And then it's your day. So I'm going to make this in English. And I'm going to stick that right down here. There we go. That's one card made. And what did that take us? Not even five minutes? Love it. This is a little bit crooked for my liking. So we're just going to switch that up a little. There we go. It's your day. Pretty florals. Color them whatever color you want. Leave them as is. It's a gorgeous, easy birthday card. So that is card number one. Now the next card is more of a geometric shape and it kind of I would say is a more masculine themed card. So we're going to start this one with the polka dots and this one is going to be a portrait card. So we're going to fold it on the score line like so. And then we're going to take that same die cut sheet and we're going to now use these triangles. Okay, so I love polka dots a lot. <laughs> it's my favorite pattern. So I'm seeing all these polka dots big and small, and I am liking this already. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our tear tape and we're going to put that along the top. And I'm just following along with the instructions. I'm not changing anything up here. Okay, peel that off. And then this is going to sit right up here along the folded edge and along the top. Okay, so there we've got the two triangles now. And then we're going to take this second piece here. And we're going to put the tear tape on that as well. This one we're going to use it on all three edges. Okay, I'll just peel that off. So if you're watching along this video and you're deciding that you must add this birthday organizing birthday card organizer kit to your order, then fear not, it is still currently available. Uh, if you live local and you'd like, I can add it to an order that I have going in on Thursday. No, sorry, it's not Thursday. It's tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. I am putting an order in. So if you live locally and you'd like to get in on that group order and save yourself a little bit of shipping, then please message me. Like I said, it's $32 plus shipping and tax, um, which I can tell you in, actually I'll do it right now before I forget, we'll just do the math. So here in British Columbia, it would be $39.80. So if you live local and you'd like to order one, let me know, message me tonight or tomorrow morning. So back to the card, here's our card. Now we're going to take our other stickers here. Happiest birthday. And if you want one of these kit collections and you don't live local, then by all means, I am going to post that comment, um, that link in the comments on how you can order it from my online store and have it delivered right to your house. Okay, so we're going to stick this happiest birthday right here in the center. Again, you could choose whatever language you want um, to put on there. There we go. The only thing we forgot to do is to add some bling to our cards. So you can see we've got a very feminine card and a more masculine card. So you really are covered for all of your birthdays throughout the year. So we're just going to stick some of these beautiful rhinestone or not rhinestone sequins down here. And then a couple more up here. It says again, I'm just following along with the instructions girls. This is awesome. This is easy. It doesn't get much easier than this friends. Like really, this is, this kit is so fun. And then for the floral one, we're going to just put a couple of bling over here. And so I'll tell you a little story every year, January rolls around. And my goal is always, I am going to send birthday cards. I'm going to send them all. I'm not going to miss one. I'm going to be super organized. And I usually I do well, usually, 
till about the end of February. And then I kind of peter out because I get busy. I forget. I don't have the cards done up. But this kit, I tell you, it is going to be a game changer. And I will be sending out my cards because they're going to be all ready. And in each month, I'm going to make a point of the month before getting everything ready in each kit. So I think it's going to be a really key factor to making sure all those beautiful cards that you're making, whether it be these cards or ones you've already made or the future ones you're going to make, you're going to be sure to send them out to your loved ones. So there is the cards. Here is the book before and after. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, I am putting in an order tomorrow afternoon if you're local and want to get added on to that. Otherwise, the comments, um, I will post the link in the comments. I'm just going to switch back to my view here so I can pop back in. Thank you. What do you guys think of that kit? I think it is absolutely gorgeous and I think it's super useful too. So not only do we have cards that we can send, but we now have a way to stay organized and make sure we don't miss any birthdays. Um, anniversaries, whatever other events you want to put in there. This is going to be a key to keeping us um, up to date, organized, and sending out those beautiful handmade cards that we're all making. Okay, so thank you so much for being here and watching tonight. Thank you um, for allowing me to pop on here just a wee bit later. Um, it was really great to spend the, the evening with, uh, with my nephew and my family celebrating. I can't believe he's a teenager already. It's craziness. Um, but yeah, so thanks everybody. If you have questions about the starter kit joining offer that I mentioned earlier in the video, please message me. I'm happy to talk to you. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, it really is a super, super deal and full of all kinds of value um, and so much to offer. So thank you so much, Tina. It is a wonderful kit and it's definitely one that is going to be used time and time again. And um, I'm going to share pictures with all of you on my bird's nest page here once uh, I get it all altered and figured out. And then I'll surprise you and post what color I'm going to color the second book because, of course, it can't be pink because I want to be able to tell them apart. So I'll um, come up with some other colors and I'll share that with you too. Um, oh yeah, that's a great tip too, Bev. She uses the card protector. So that's what I have here in my thank you card. I have it in a clear envelope. Um, and she stores them in here until she needs the envelope, which is a great, a great time saver. I've also been told that you can send your cards in this clear envelope and just put your labels on the back. So that's an idea too, if you want to save. Okay, any questions, please let me know. I'd love to see what you and hear what you think of this um, card kit. And like I mentioned, I will post the link to order yours today in the comments. Uh, if you're watching the replay, say hi. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys all again next week here, Tuesday, the 25th at 7pm. Until then, have a super crafty week. Cheers, everyone.